Thanks for joining us here in the Walker Studios. I'm Travis Patterson. And I'm Dominic Ramuni. Well, Dominic, we saw some nasty weather here, didn't we? We did. I uh, noticed a, about a coating of snow or so in sleet where I was at. But fortunately for the road crews and those traveling this morning, it doesn't look like it's stuck to the roadways overnight. Well, let's hope that story continues in tomorrow, which starts the first day of spring break here at Penn State. It does start spring break. It also starts the first day of meteorological spring, Travis. Well, I don't see anything in the way of spring-like temperatures anytime soon. But for more details on that, let's go to Jillian Bohinick, who joins us us here in the studio. Well, can you tell us, Jill? Well, thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Travis. It may be the beginning of spring break and first day of meteorological spring tomorrow, but we won't be seeing any spring-like conditions for the next few days anyway. So we're going to take a look at your current conditions for right now. It is pretty clear out there right now. There shouldn't be any precipitation until later on today. But right now we're sitting at about 32 degrees. But because of that slight wind, we it does feel like 27 out there. So it does feel cooler than it is, but those temperatures will start to pick up as the day progresses. We do have 32 in State College, 34 in Scranton, and our warm spot is in Philadelphia with 43. And now we are going to take a look at your temperatures across the nation. For pretty much in the Northeast and Central United States, temperatures aren't varying too much, but we do have 56 in Tampa, so it is a little chilly for them this morning, 38 in Roanoke, and 33 in Chicago. And now we are going to talk about that snow that's hitting our area. There is some, a possibility of some showers today and into tomorrow. Today mostly, but we won't see any major accumulation. That system is crossing our area as we speak. But as we head into the weekend, that system is going to move off to our north and east by later on this weekend. But for today, those clouds are moving in and we are going to see quite a bit of snow showers today. Nothing by way of accumulation, but it will be snowy out there today. But like I said, by later on this weekend, that system is going to move out, bringing some clouds behind it. And now we do have your forecast for today. High temperatures for today will be around 39 degrees with some snow showers and some clouds moving in. But by tonight, that snow will start to slow down a little bit and the temperatures will be at around 28 degrees as your overnight low with a bit of a wind this evening. But then for tomorrow, things will start looking up as that snow is going to start slowing down. That system is going to start moving out tomorrow. So 37 degrees will be your high. And now we're going to take a look at your seven day forecast. For the, and for the rest of the week here, we do have those snow showers in the forecast. But by Saturday, that system is going to start moving out. That has been bringing us that precipitation and will be out of the way by Sunday. And by Sunday, we will have that high pressure system move in during the day, which will clear up all that precipitation and will make for a great start to the week next week. But temperatures for the end of this week will be in the upper 30s and will drop a little bit for the weekend. But when the high pressure system moves in on Sunday, temperatures will start to look up. Once again, I'm your student meteorologist Jillian Bohanek here with Penn State's Campus Weather Service. As we do have spring break approaching us very quickly, I wish you all a safe and enjoyable spring break. As always, stay classy. Back to you guys. Well, there you have it, folks. The weather for the next few days, and it looks like it's going to remain cold. That it will. For your health, I'm Dominic Ramoni. And I'm Travis Patterson. Have a great spring break. See you next time.